And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 1st of November, 2021. All Saints Day. It was on this day in 1512, Pope Julius II displayed Michelangelo's paintings on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel for the first time. Paintings it had taken Michelangelo four years to complete scenes from the Old Testament, including the famous center section, The Creation of Adam. Michelangelo was 33 at the time, and he was not anxious to do this work. He tried to point out to the Pope that he was a sculptor and not really a painter, but the Pope would not listen. And so Michelangelo used his skills as a sculptor to make a two-dimensional ceiling look like a series of three-dimensional scenes. He worked from a scaffold 60 feet above the floor, covering about 10,000 square feet of surface. Every day, fresh plaster was laid over part of the ceiling, and Michelangelo had to finish painting before the plaster dried. It's the birthday of Stephen Crane, born in Newark, New Jersey, 1871, thought about becoming a professional baseball player. As a young man, he played catcher. One of his teammates said he played baseball with fiendish glee. He was spending time in New York City, fascinated by street life there, started writing for tabloids while he was still a teenager, wrote his first novel, Maggie, A Girl of the Streets, which booksellers would not stock. And then, after reading a series of reminiscences of Civil War veterans, Crane decided to write a Civil War novel himself. The result was The Red Badge of Courage, published 1895, the story of a boy named Henry Fleming who signs up for the 304th New York Regiment hoping to experience the glory of battle that he's read about in school. It made Stephen Crane famous. He was 24 years old. He'd never been in battle himself, and yet Civil War veterans wrote into the newspapers claiming that they'd known Stephen Crane, they'd fought beside him in various battles. He spent the rest of his life working as a war correspondent. On New Year's Eve, 1896, he was on a boat to Cuba to cover the Spanish-American War. The boat sank Crane survived in a small dinghy with three other men, spent 30 hours at sea, damaged his health, and led to his death a few years later at the age of 28. The first medical school for women opened on this day, 1848, in Boston, started by Samuel Gregory. It was called the Boston Female Medical College. Samuel Gregory wasn't really a supporter of women's rights, but he believed it was unseemly for male doctors to assist women in childbirth. So the college mostly served as a school for midwives at first. And it's the birthday of the man who came up with the line, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Grantland Rice, the sports writer born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee in 1880. Here's a poem for today by Cindy Gregg, entitled Monday. On this first day of November, it is cold as a cave, the sky the color of neutral third parties. I'm cutting carrots for the chicken soup, knife against carrot, again and again sends a plop of pennies into the pan. These scents when held to the gray light, hold no noble president, only stills of some kaleidoscope, caught being pensive and beautiful in the eye of this beholder, who did not expect this moment of marvel while making an early supper for the hungry children. Monday, a poem by Cindy Gregg from Suddenly Autumn, published by Wordplay Press and used by permission here in the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.